and welcome to my channel Faith and Flower. If this is your first time here, my name is Robin. If you need some all day cleaning and homemaking motivation, then this video is for you. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you love cleaning videos and things to do with homemaking, then I know you're going to love my channel. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm starting off my cleaning today here in the master bedroom. And I usually start here. And the reason is at the end of the day, no matter what else has happened, at least this one space is neat, tidy, it's peaceful and relaxing and much more conducive to sleep than if it were in chaos. Each morning I like to let in the light, but I don't like the cords hanging down to the floor on these Roman shades. So I put in a command hook where I can keep the cords up off the floor. That way they're not accessible to the dog and they won't get caught up in the vacuum cleaner. Each week when I'm doing my cleaning in our master bedroom, I have a set routine. So I pretty much do everything the same way each time. And that way it becomes rote and I'm not apt to miss any areas. I also like to work my way from the top down so that if there's any dust that I'm knocking to the floor, I can vacuum it afterwards. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Once her bedroom is all dusted, I move into the attached bathroom and I will do all of the dusting and cleaning in here and then I will do the floors in both spaces at the same time. And I just find that to be much more efficient so that I'm not lugging the vacuum and the mop from room to room in between trying to juggle the duster and the bathroom cleaners and all of that. I just find that that system is a little bit more streamlined and makes everything go a little smoother. I love having this electric fireplace in our bathroom and I use it often in the winter time, but you can actually turn it on without heat. And so I really should use it more year round than I do. So while I'm cleaning in here today, I'm going to turn it on and enjoy it. These are the cleaners that I'm going to be using today. I like using the Method Anti-Back Toilet Cleaner for the inside of the toilet and for the outside of the toilet, I'm using the seventh generation disinfecting wipes. 
For our bathtub, I like using a magic eraser along with the tub and tile cleaner that comes from the Grove Collaborative in this glass spray bottle. And for everything else, I'm using a microfiber e-cloth and their window polishing cloth. These are my favorite cleaners and they really keep cleaning simple and they are very effective. And if you guys are interested in any of them, I will have a link in my description box to Grove Collaborative. You can get a five piece free gift set and free shipping with your first $20 order when you use my link. And I also always have a link for e-cloth in my description box as well. If you haven't tried e-cloth, they are great. They are microfiber cloths that capture 99.9% .9 of dirt and bacteria. You just use them with water to clean, and I like to follow them with their window or glass polishing cloth to give the mirrors and all of the fixtures a great streak-free shine. So you'll see me using those all throughout the bathroom today. our acrylic tub but it can be difficult to clean because there are a lot of products that aren't safe for it so my favorite is from the Grove Collaborative it's their tub and tile cleaning concentrate you just squirt in a small concentrated vial that they send you in a two-pack along with water in one of their glass spray bottles and you're good to go it's not only a really effective cleaner, but it's also 95% plant derived and I feel really good about using it because it doesn't contain any harsh chemicals. in the master bedroom and bathroom but it is lunchtime and yes we're having hot dogs and pork and beans don't judge they're really good and they are a huge hit with the guys I left the kitchen in a hurry this morning because I wanted to get my Bible study done and some editing on a video so all of the breakfast dishes were left in the sink and the dishwasher needs to be unloaded so I'm gonna handle those things while lunch is getting ready too and Austin is just waking up from a little morning snooze
I don't usually like having dishes in the sink after a meal. I really prefer to clean up the kitchen after each meal. It just is so much more peaceful in here if things are back in order. So I'm going to make sure I take care of all of that before I return to my cleaning in the master bedroom and bathroom. kitchen utensils are amazing. I got them several months ago. I have them in my Amazon store in case you're interested and you can find the link for that in the description box. They are silicone with wooden handles and they have held up great and I absolutely love them. Also this drying rack. I've had tons of questions about this lately. I switched over to this recently because I had a cloth pad that when it got wet would hold too much moisture against our countertop. It's very porous and made of limestone and that can cause mold and mildew issues. So that's why I've been using it and I love it and wouldn't go back. My good friend Noemi over at the channel Simple Living with Scandish Home recommended it and she always has the best ideas. With the kitchen clean, I can finish up in the bedroom and bathroom. All I have left to do is the floors. I always start with vacuuming both spaces and then I will go back with my e-cloth microfiber cloth and clean the tiles and the hardwoods.
back in the kitchen, I'm going to make some sweet tea. We are officially in summer. Patrick has been asking for sweet tea and I decluttered our pitchers because they were plastic. One of them had a crack and the other one was degrading to the point where I felt like it probably wasn't safe to put boiling water into it. And so I just recently ordered one from Amazon. It's glass and it's heat proof, so you can even boil water in it. I probably won't try that because I have an electric tea kettle that I just showed you, which is perfect for making tea, but it does give me peace of mind pouring hot liquid into it. And hopefully that means it'll be really durable as well. So after I wash it, we're going to try it out. of the afternoon in the backyard with Kyle. We were working on some things in the garden and before I knew it, it was time to come in and get dinner started. I got this book from the library. I just picked it up today and I was looking forward to giving it a try because I keep hearing such great things about it. It's essentially a batch cooking method of meal prepping for the week. So you spend one day cooking and the rest of the week you can enjoy meals that are easy to put together in a very short period of time. I only have the ingredients to do about two days of one of the weeks that she had. So I'm going to do that today just to see what I think about it. So while I am fixing dinner for tonight, I'm actually going to be prepping a meal that we'll have another night later in the week. And that day it will be really easy to get dinner on the table. Tonight we are having barbecue mini meatloaves with carrot fries and another night this week we're going to try Korean beef bowls. I have almost everything that I need for the recipes. They both require ground beef. So that's part of her method is that you basically prepare one protein for the week and then you supplement with the vegetables and things like that. I am going to tweak things just slightly because I either don't have ingredients or I want to add something. So I'm starting off with browning the brown beef for the Korean beef bowls. And while that's browning up, I'll start assembling everything for the mini meatloafs. for both nights contain carrots so I can prep two meals at once here as well and so I'm going to cut the carrots for tonight into fry shapes or sort of matchsticks and the others I'm going to shave for the Korean beef bowls. tonight are about to go in the oven and the other carrots are going to marinate in some vinegar and spices and they will be ready for the Korean beef bowls later this week.
While the mini meatloafs and the carrot fries were baking in the oven for tonight's meal, I got everything ready for a meal later this week. The beef is ready for the Korean beef bowls. I also made two sauces that were really easy to assemble. And all that I'll need now is some rice. I could pre-prepare that as well, but I find rice to be very easy to do. So I'll just have fresh rice for that meal and everything else is waiting for me in the refrigerator for a busy weeknight. The iced tea is ready, so I'm going to serve that with dinner tonight. I really like this pitcher. I think this is going to be a great way for us to enjoy some iced tea this summer. If you guys are in the market for one, I'll have it in my Amazon store, along with the Cook Once, Eat All Week cookbook. Along with the mini meatloaves and carrot fries, I made a quick salad. This way, I figured I'd have enough to satisfy the appetites of my three hungry guys. I also made a couple of adjustments. I didn't have bacon, so I used some bacon crumbles on the top of the mini meatloaves, but it didn't matter. My family loved it. I think I'll definitely use this recipe again, and I'm anxious to see how the Korean beef bowls turn out later in the week. After dinner cleanup isn't too bad. Everybody put their own dishes in the dishwasher. The sheet pans aren't all that dirty because I use parchment paper to line them. And there are just a few things in the sink because as I cook, I like to clean. So I've already cleaned the pots, the pans, and the mixing bowl along with the utensils and set them out to dry while we were eating. love to end the day with a clean kitchen and to go to bed at night with a clean bedroom and bathroom as well. If you guys enjoyed today's video and you got lots of cleaning motivation and inspiration, make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here at Faith and Flower, I want to invite you to subscribe. It's easy, it's free, and if you activate the bell icon, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I look forward to talking with you in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great week.